fellow gym hunters. Welcome to another episode of Five and Time over here at Coinverse. Guys, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Then lastly, click that notification bell. That way you stay up to date to the latest videos. So guys, what a weekend in the NFT space. There's been a lot of things going on between marketplaces uh, arguing about royalties. We've seen it over the last couple of, or the last month or two where royalties uh, almost left the chain and then now they're starting to be enforced. It was a big thing about OpenSea, uh, a big thing that came out on OpenSea that said, uh, starting next Tuesday or this Tuesday, if you're going to have a, a, a collection that's going to come out on OpenSea, then there's a new line of code that must be inserted in your project to be listed on that exchange. Uh, while we're out here trying to preach uh, decentralization, this is seems a little bit of a centralized move. Uh, but again, I think they're doing it to try to protect the, the artists because how will the space ever grow if no artists are incentivized to, to continue to create? Uh, so it looks like they're going to be uh, adding some type of optional royalties and, and uh, to, to certain projects, well, to all projects that's going to be listed on OpenSea. Uh, I want to see how this is going to impact some of the old contracts that's on OpenSea. If they're not upgradable, what does this mean for those projects? Uh, if Guys, if you know the answer to that down below, go ahead and chime that in uh, whenever you want. There's also a major, um, some major news about you know cz as well as uh, uh sam bait and free uh you know having uh going back and forth about you know liquidity on chain or on chain liquidity uh could be a little bit more you know negative news it could bring the market down but uh we don't know we're going to keep just uh, focusing on our art and uh looking at some of the things that did really well over the weekend and i want to talk about one of the things that i've seen over the weekend that did really well uh came up in one of my alpha groups uh i didn't actually get in this one i just wanted to kind of see how the volume was going to play out and it, uh, it did play out really well this weekend so i want to jump into this project without further ado i'm going to share my screen like i normally do and we're just going to get right into this one, guys. Uh, project's going to be called KPR, uh, Keeper. Keeper versus uh, the at Keeperverse here on Twitter. Uh, so make sure you shut, jump over there and give them a follow. 48,000 followers already on here. They have kpverse.com. So we'll go over there and check that out. Um, but what is Keeper? Keeper is an NFT project. Uh, it's almost like that storytelling uh, NFT project. I love those. They have some really cool art. We're going to jump over and look at that as well. We see the here uh, that, um, you know, they got some more stuff loaded on 1110 at 12 o'clock. PM Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna see what that is. I don't think uh, we know what that is yet, but the, the project's really cool. Uh, they have all this digitalized art, uh, almost like gamified look. It looks super cool. Keeps me, keeps you on the edge of your seat. I, I keep looking at everything that's popping up on Twitter and this stuff looks good. Look at this artwork, um, very clean, super, super clean artwork. Uh, another piece here, just, just sick with it, right? So uh, they've been teasing out a, a lot of different things that they're gonna be uh, coming out with, but again, uh, here's some of the updates that, that happened over the weekend and they did, did have a really successful launch. So I want to go over to, uh, OpenSea real quick. I will look at this because this came out, I think around point, uh, two five. So we'll, I think this was around point two five, uh, when it, when it initially launched over the weekend, um, da -da 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 -da. so around 0.5 ETH, uh, you see it's been just hitting up almost, uh, I think for the people who got in pre-sale, I think it was 0.25. So there should be about 3X right now. Uh, and this thing's been getting a lot of volume and a lot of sales uh, over the weekend and, and things of that nature. Um, and we see here just the amount of sales just going crazy. Uh, volume was up heavy. Uh, it still is still on the rise here. Uh, the floor price has kind of been standing around, you know, uh, the 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Uh, so it's been some good sustainability so far within the project. Um, what they're going to do to sustain this uh, this this volume? It looks like they got some more news coming out in three days. Um, and then this is the website. Uh, again, they have female characters as well. If you get on the website and you start playing around, it's really cool. You see everything's very interactive. Uh, Define Kai over here on the right hand side. So it's something to do with that as well on the project. Um, and then the project itself. Every keeper is born endowed with attributes from a collection over 400 meticulously hand painted um assets they're a personable iconic uh possessions that represent kprs or keepers foundational pillars of evolution inclusion and imagination uh, so this is going to be the initial collection this is ten thousand digital uh collectible so it looks like uh you can see a lot of the, the different ones here on the page uh we'll, we'll scroll down this is the key and then the key they, they talk about some other things that they're going to be doing um, as far as the storytelling, uh, and then they also have factions here. So you can come over to the website, a lot of stuff to see here. Um, 
and, 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 and go through and explore what they're going to actually be doing with the project. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, I want to flirt around with the idea that it could be some type of, um, let me close this or get this out of the way so you guys can see a little bit more. Uh, the discovery of Kai, the world's pr predominant energy source, Harold Mankind's uh, golden energy. So I, I'm going to say that, you know, probably somewhere down the line, you're going to be able to stake and you're going to earn this Kai, which is going to be your energy for what they're going to be using on chain. Uh, the factions, one one world, two factions, divided in belief, united in purpose. And then, like I said, with the keep over here, um, you can see the long, the, the last stronghold of knowledge. To keep, the keep is where the value a cruise, a uh, place, wonder, protect, and fight for. So it looks like they're gonna have different pillars within the project. Uh, seems really cool. Uh, again, I like the storytelling element of it. I love the website, super clean. Um, they also have a, a journal here. You could go through there. They have media on here. So you could go uh, interact between the Twitter and the Discord. But again, it's one of those projects that I've seen over the weekend and minute out. And, and just uh, over the weekend, it was a lot of projects that were struggling with volume. Uh, I mean, the whole of the entire market was struggling with uh, volume now, OpenSea. And this is one of those projects that just kept on pushing and kept on going uh, we can see here on OpenSea um, this thing came in really hot over the weekend and again this is what it looks like right here these keepers uh, and I think the art will be revealed here soon so uh, you know just be, pay attention to what is going on with these I think it's gonna be something really cool for sure um, not financial advice obviously but definitely something to do your homework on and we, if you go over here and we look at uh, you know the top top projects on Ethereum um, over the last seven days, I mean, this thing is going to be up there, you know, with, with everybody else. So came in at number four, you got over 1600 uh, ETH nearing that 1700 mark. And this is very young. I mean, so for projects that come out in, in a week's time and be able to put up these kind of numbers, it's hard to ignore. Uh, so that's why we wanted to jump into Keeper today, take a look at it. Uh, and again, the artwork hasn't fully been revealed, but you do get a, a sense of it over on the website, super clean art. It's going to be some type of storytelling. Um, I, I'm, I'm personally in love with uh, the art. It looks really good to me. Um, so we want to go over here. Let me see if we can find some people or something that was uh, tweeted about um, keepers over here and look at some of the reactions. I mean, you know, a lot of the stuff on here has a hell of reactions in it as well. Um, <clears throat> when you go over to the Discord, there's a lot of reactions on a lot of posts over there. It's always a good sign when you see a lot of reactions, 30,000 views on this video. Uh, and, you know, these are just teasers uh, and it's no telling what they're going to be building out. Uh, I haven't actually dove all the way into this, but I want to do a little bit more research on it as well. KPR is not just a protect. It is a, a world building medium that incorporates digital collectibles. Over the last year, we created a world rich with texture, depth and detail. And this is only a foundation to, to keep a world as it exists today is not a final product and never will be. And as with any real world, our Ours will shift and expand, and innovate, and at every step to achieve new steps, permanence. Keepers are our windows in the process into this world that is uh, coming into life. Together, we will we we will reimagine what is possible. I don't know why I have a tongue twister today, uh, but I love the vision. I love the team. Uh, they've been staying really active as far as within uh, social media as well as within a Discord. Um, and it's one of those things, guys, that you pay attention to. I think, you know, anytime we see these projects come out and they, they initially take off with that high volume search, I'll always wait for a little bit of a pullback. You know that at some point you're going to have that post mint, uh, um, that post mint partisan set in where, you know, people are going to want more than, and, than what they got initially or what they felt initially. So you're going to have a little bit of a pullback. I think that's natural. We've seen it with a lot of projects that we talked about on here. Um, and, and, and it's super natural. And I think that's the greatest, the, the best points for you to get in at. So uh, again, none of this is financial advice, but guys, let's get this art. This art is just, it's just sick, man. It's super clean. Um, it's giving me good vibes. Like this is hard. This is super hard. You're running out of time, you know, like these, oh my God, like, come, come on, man, come on. Like, yeah, yeah. Not financial advice, guys, but this shit looks cool. Uh, love love the art, um, but you know, they, they've been working on this project. It seems like for a while, the team seems very dedicated. They uh, did some stuff with some uh, NFT um, events and, and, and things of that nature and, and uh, built some stuff in these or bought some uh, land in decentral land and did stuff for the community as well. So I think it's one of those projects that, you know, could be a sleeper. Uh, if you didn't mint it already, it's definitely something to at least keep your eye on. Uh, I'd wait for 1110, see what the announcement is going to be, see what kind of new volume flows into the project. Even if you uh, don't get in at the initial floor, I think it's one of those things when you're thinking about what market conditions are right now. I think we're still super early uh, when we're speculating what could be uh, cool in the next one, right? Could this really be the keeper? 
<laughs> so uh guys that's what i wanted to talk about today I wanted to bring this one to you had an insane weekend uh congratulations to the team congratulations to all the holders uh if you're out looking for a new project i think this is one that you should at least keep your eye on uh visit back take a take a look at the charts um see where you can get in at and if there's if it uh comes to a, a point that you want to jump in at i think that's a smart move um but again uh to each his own with these projects i i, I try to find the, the 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 cleanest art as as well as something that uh that i could see build a community and storytelling it could always build like bring in a new community and hold that community together because it's always something to look forward to so again guys that's why we brought you keeper today uh leave us a comment down below if you're holding keeper uh let us know how you're enjoying the project so far uh, other than that, that's all I got. That's all the time I have for today. Until next time, guys, let's vibe it out.